So I'm on my way to the club, um, into Collingwood, to let my teammates know um, that I'm not going to be playing with them in 2020. Um, and for probably no better reason, and it's not because I'm old, uh, but because I'm having a baby, which is very exciting and daunting and probably not exactly sure what on earth Samuel and I have got ourselves into. Um, but it's, yeah, it's obviously pretty incredible and um, I just can't wait to actually tell the girls because it's been bloody hard keeping a secret. Just hopefully they'll be incredibly excited, but it's obviously a really strange feeling as well, um, knowing that I won't be able to fulfill that part um, of being out there on court with them in 2020, but um, I'll certainly be around pestering them um, and doing everything possible from the sidelines to support them. But um, yeah, this talk, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nerve wracking. So hopefully I can string a sentence together. We'll see. Um, and then just one other thing, um, probably a little bit more on a serious topic. Um, I've actually been through this conversation about a million times in my head in the last 24 hours. Um, and every time being highly articulate, not at all emotional and of course incredibly funny. But as you guys know, heading into pre-season last year, there was a big, um, I guess, plan to manage my load to make sure that I was all good for the season. Um, and I'm not going to be playing in 2020 um, because I'm knocked up. If you guys aren't rid of me, sadly. Sorry, Tilly, I'm still gonna hang shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know exactly in what capacity and obviously now that Rob can talk to the other coaches um, around what my involvement is or isn't going to be and what's best for the team, but um, I'll still be around. As Rob said, we've still got a job to do. Um, I'll be annoying in probably helping drive that. Um, and I just can't wait to see what you girls achieve because I think this group, we can do something incredibly special um, and amazing if we um, obviously work hard and um, just keep building on, on what we have been doing so far. So that's my news. Um, happy Friday, happy birthday, <laughs> Thanks so much, Obviously I'm going to miss playing, that's why I've done it for so long. Um, you can't beat game day and I don't think there's any other aspect in your life that can really, where you can replicate that competitiveness. Um, you know, going out there with your teammates and having a common goal and, um, you know, really fighting it out to the end. I loved it. I loved those hard games. It's as well the things that you know, no one else gets to be a part of. Um, it's the little jokes, particularly within players. You know, you have all these little nuances and things about players and inside jokes that no one else gets. Um, and they're, I think, the things that you actually really remember as well when you leave um, and you don't get to be a part of that. And um, I'm already feeling like I'm missing out on that at the moment. Um, and I don't like it. Um, it actually, it hurts quite a bit. So. Um, yeah, I think certainly that camaraderie and those little inside jokes and, and just getting to know your teammates away from the court as well. Um, it, it's pretty special, it's such a unique environment. Um, yeah, and as I said, I've done it for, for so long, um, yeah, and I'm certainly going to miss it. Um, I don't think it'll be the last that you'll see of me, I don't know in what capacity. I'd love to be involved in commentating the bit that I have done. Um, and within the media, I've really, really enjoyed. Um, I want to stay involved in women's sport. Um, I think being a female athlete is incredibly special. It also throws up a lot of unique challenges. And over my time, I've seen, um, you know, sport grow and develop. And there's certainly things that I think 
I would be able to have a positive influence on. Um, yeah, so I'd love to stay involved, whether it's netball or another female sport, um, I'll do that, but wait and see, who knows. That's good. That's really good. I'm loving that. And they're going to love it. Good work, Rob. So here I am on my way to Melbourne Airport. Um, six o'clock tonight. Uh, Shimmy gets in from the Nations Cup. So really pleased to be able to get her back into the team and really, really cool is that she's bringing with her our brand new import, Jodie Ann Ward, goal defence, wing defence. So I'm just hoping, they don't know I'm coming, but they're going to be really pleased to see me. Who knows? Probably the best part of the flight was like when you saw me at the airport with my sign. Um, that was shocking to be honest. I didn't really expect you to be there. Oh. So it's like a big thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unexpectedly. That was nice. Yeah. And it was a great, not looking a great sign. I spent all day on that. Yeah, it could have been a bit bigger, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And the shimmy could have been bigger. <laughs> yeah. e equal love, equal love. <laughs> But I mean, it's all about Jodie and you're the young girl, yeah. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, I mean, we didn't want to make it I'm too the old old age. Age. You're the young one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. But you can't wait for training. Okay, here we go. Okay, so see the big yellow object in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the question is... French fry or cheese stick? Think very carefully. French fry or cheese stick? You know how I said think like carefully, like, but probably yeah, need an answer. French fry. You've gone what? What have you gone? French fry. Good answer. <laughs> well, lucky. Okay. Here we are. Thank you, Rob. Home sweet home. Thank you. How good was my driving? Oh, it was slow and nice. Did you say slow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is slow. I oh, know I'm slow. Bye bye. Well, that went pretty well, I thought. Um, great spirits, I thought, considering they've probably been travelling since uh, yesterday. Um, a little disappointed that you know they didn't weren't super excited about my sign. I certainly thought it was a work of art, but hey, can't have everything. But um, it's great to have them back. They seem to be really ready to go and um, can't wait for next week. It'll be great. Uh, the opportunity pops up and I grab it. <laughs> um, this, super, this is the biggest and most intense league. I mean, who wouldn't want to be playing in this league? Um, I was a bit nervous at first but just coming here and getting used to the training, the players, I sorta, of, it's, it's, it's a building, it's a building block, and I think that it's, it's gonna improve my game a lot. This is a great club, and I'm really honored to be a part of this family. When I walked into the building, I was like, whoa, this is huge. <laughs> I mean, Colin Hood, they ensure that everything is in place for the athletes in terms of everything, recovery, gym work, everything is just in one, one place and I really like that. The biggest challenge is I think is to get used to the high intensity training sessions. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a banger so far, but I think I'm adjusting well to that, yeah. It's not been too difficult because I have Shimona here with me so she sort of guide me through everything. I mean, just having someone there from my background, it gives me that comfort to know that, yes, 
I can speak my patois around her and she can understand me. <laughs> I think that's the craziest bit. Um, being around the other girls, when we are talking our patois, they don't really understand it and just look at their face like, <laughs> what are they saying? I mean, just that comfort, I really like it. I think the fans will love us. Just to know that two Jamaicas are on that team, one in this end, one in that end. When this one, when the ball is not here, the ball is in the other one's hand. So, <laughs> yeah, they're always in motion. I love the girls. I love the girls and they work hard. They ensure that they put in the work. And I think that uh, with all that, the combinations, um, putting in all the good work, just being comfortable around each other, trusting each other. I think that this team can go far. <laughs>